What's going on everybody? My name is Noble and in today's video we are going to be talking about the brand new feature on your Xbox One for Mixer Streaming and that is the fact that you can now go ahead and broadcast everything. Now whenever you started doing live streams, if you were streaming directly from your Xbox onto Mixer, anytime that you came back to the home screen, to the store, to your menus or anything else besides the game that you were playing, you would get a pause screen, something similar to this. So with this brand new update, you can go ahead and broadcast everything, including your home screen. And we're going to show you guys how to do that. Now, before we get started with that, and I will make a secondary video to show you guys how you can protect your privacy. But before we get started with showing you how to broadcast everything, you want to be sure that you do not show any important information on your screen while you're doing that. So for example, right now that you guys see my avatar changing from my gamer tag to my real name, I've gone ahead and adjusted that to where it shows my gamer tag and then it shows my real name as the same thing as my gamer tag. Now again, I'll make a video showing you guys how to do that, but in most cases, you'll have your gamer tag and then your email will pop up. That's some very sensitive information that you probably don't want other people to have. So make sure that you block that as well as credit card information or anything else of that nature. So with all that said, if we were going to go ahead and start playing this game right here, we would go ahead and set up our stream by opening up our side window here and moving on over to broadcast. Now, whenever you go ahead and click on setup broadcast, you guys will see that it will go ahead and set up your mixer stream. And from here, you can go ahead and choose to turn on the chat. You can go ahead and choose to turn on your microphone. And then down here at the bottom, it says broadcast everything. Right now it's turned off. You can go ahead and turn it on. And it says here, viewers will see everything you see on your Xbox, your game, your guide, your home, your notifications, things that you type, etc. Take care not to expose personal information, like I said, like passwords, emails, or credit cards. So from here, you can go ahead and turn this on and this will stay on during the duration of your stream. Now I'm just going to do a short broadcast here and I'll go back and I will capture this for you guys so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So uh, we're going to go ahead and start the broadcast. We are now live on Mixer. And that's one of the things that I love about Mixer is the fact that once you go live, you are almost instantaneously there. And whenever your chat comes in, you can go ahead and see that. So um, again, like I said, uh, whenever you were going to your, your home screen like this, in most cases, you would go ahead and get uh, the pause screen, which I'm showing on screen right now. But now you can go ahead and jump into a game. And if you want to go ahead and change games, you can go ahead and show uh, your home screen, for example, just like this. It will still show that we are still uh, in the stream. If anyone goes ahead and puts anything into the chat, it'll go ahead and pop up on screen so you can continue to keep up with that. But if you wanted to go ahead and show people uh, your library of games so that they can choose uh, what game they want you to play next, for example, you could go ahead and show them all of your games now. You can go into your settings, but like I said, be very careful about what settings you're going into so that none of your personal information is shown or anything like that. Now, I'm not going to go into here because I don't want to accidentally show my credit card or any other personal information, but I just wanted to show you guys the fact that uh, you can now stream uh, everything that is on your Xbox, which I think is actually a really, really good thing. Uh, a whole bunch of people would stop watching your stream or would jump off your stream if they jumped in and they saw the uh, the pause menu that I'm showing on screen right now. And that would cause you to lose viewers, even if you were only gone for a few minutes at a time. So now that you're trying to switch games, maybe you're trying to show something specifically on your Xbox, you can have that engagement the entire time, no matter what it is that you're doing. So hopefully that makes sense to you guys. Uh, this is just a quick tutorial. I am actually live on Mixer right now. So I'm going to uh, head on over to Mixer. I'm going to delete that video because I just made uh, the stream for the purposes of this tutorial. So hopefully that helps you guys out. I'd like to know what you guys think. Do you guys think this is a good thing, bad thing? Let me know why or why not in the comments down below. And with that said, love your faces. As always, I'll see you guys on the next video. Please don't forget to like, share and sub and we'll see you guys next time.